Well, hello everybody and welcome back down into the dungeon for our weekly look at everything that's still growing on. In spite of the snow that is outside, I still can't get over that snow in October, that's ridiculous. But I've got a few really interesting things I want to get showing you here, so I think we should probably just get to it. First off, however, since the last thing I posted was that ridiculously cloudy fish tank, I want to show you guys the fish are just fine. I mean, you probably knew that already. It's not like my first go at keeping fish. But anyway, I thought some of you might like to see that, so I'll turn off the purple light. So the tank looks like it's supposed to, and I have to say, it really is amazing how well I can just like completely overfeed them with this natural salad bar diet. It does nothing to the water. You know, the mint floats around. It might actually be sucking up some of the nutrients in the water because it just seems to keep on looking nice and healthy and green right up to till they devour it. As worried as I was about some of these fish, they've clearly all made it through just fine. Not bad, not bad. 21 feeder fish in the basement aquaponic garden since February. And I still got 21 feeder fish. Good deal. Good on your pet store. Anyway, let's try and take a look at the aquaponic garden while that light is off. See things a little bit differently. Traditional light spectrum anyway. Dark opal basil down here. I just took some flowering tops off of there. Tossed them in for the fish yesterday, day before. Still haven't quite decided what I'm going to do about this basil. Probably going to pull it out and start again because, I mean, it's it's really not doing a whole lot. This sage that I transplanted in there, doing quite nicely. We actually have some of this sage in our turkey. Happy Turkey Day weekend to all my fellow Canuckians, by the way. Back here, this rosemary still, still looks like it might actually be rooting. I haven't pulled it up yet to check because if it is rooting, I don't want to mess with that. Oh, such a pain to clone, but if it clones, it's so much easier than trying to get the stupid thing to go from seeds. Mint, well, we all know how well that clones, doesn't it? I was just kind of through there trimming away for the chickens and the fish, as you saw floating around a minute ago. But yeah, the aquaponic garden, mint, it's a cinch that works. And I've got one of the little flaming caddy cuttings up here. Wondering how it would do under that funky purple light. Throw that back on behind us and get looking at the Darwin table. This is not normally on the Darwin table. This is the Reaper from the front windowsill. It's down here so that it can be tapped off over the fish tank. I still haven't given these plants any sort of nutrient boost. And they're looking pretty good, I think, considering. Um, but they have started to develop something of an aphid issue. So I have been bringing them down for a vigorous tapping. We've got the Ahi Fantasy here. And I believe this is the Bad Brains. Coming along nicely, but not quite as well as this Reaper. This has done so well since it's gone upstairs. Looking over here, these are the tomato seedlings that came up from when I planted those Naga seeds from Punky over here. Obviously nothing's come up in that most recent batch. But you'll notice that I took them out, obviously, and as I took them out, I noticed new seedlings in there. This one is not the nicest of them all, but I left it in there because... Pass over the red demon here, we'll talk about that in a second. I planted these four into individual containers, and these three in the back strike me as particularly pepper-like in their um, young stems. It's really hard to tell at this stage, but this one here seems like it might have something closer to the fuzzy or tomato stem. But these three might be pepper seedlings. So we're gonna watch and see what's happening there. Now I mentioned the red demon is up here because the red demon is gonna get snipped down. She's no longer with us after today. I'll be taking these peppers up to the dehydrator and I am okay with that. Down in the bottom of the planter, though, we have fresh life. And again, to my eye, these all look like pepper seedlings. Not quite sure what's sprouting up in there, but we're going to let it grow. Find out uh, just what it is. This, however, does not look like a pepper seed, so it can scoot. But one, two, three, four, five. 
mystery seeds, maybe some Dorset Nagas. It's getting real interesting already, and it's still 2018. So I can't wait to see what the 2019 season's going to bring full on. Brought the oregano back over here. It was sitting on the aquaponics. I don't think this particular herb cares much for the uh, the light spectrum offered by that Mars Hydro LED, but still, it survived it. Got cut back, cleaned up. The rest of it got thrown into the worm compost, and there it sits now, where it has been happiest so far. Thinking of the worm compost bin and pepper starts for next year, a lot of these random starts from the compost bin seem to be doing fairly well. I have lost a few of them to aphids and that's just kind of how it goes around here, but you know, all things considered, it's looking pretty good. Still got a couple in that loaf pan. We'll see what comes of them. I have decided to snip this unknown pepper. It never produced anything for me. It doesn't look terribly happy. Don't need it in the collection, but check it out. You know, let's zoom back a little bit. Things are looking surprisingly healthy down here for the most part. That ahi ahuchapan. That one has me quite worried. The soil is moist, not soaked, but moist. Yet the leaves are really, really not looking good. So I may try and transplant that into something else. I may start a fresh batch of ahi ahuchapan. I, I don't know yet. Very much undecided. Sand dollar pepper over there still kind of doing its thing. That sage plant transitioning quite nicely. Very, very happy with that. Finally moved the lemon tree down. Eh, eh. Had to happen sooner or later. Is that tomato I brought in from the uh, one raised bed garden. It's still got it's little green fruit on there. These things are so cute and tiny, but they have no color whatsoever. So I'll be curious. I'll see if they ever get any color. There are a few more little clusters of those teeny tiny cherry tomatoes out there but nothing terribly impressive that's coming along nicely almost ready to throw that one in the dehydrator nothing really to harvest this week so I didn't start us off with the plate but all in all I do think things are coming along fairly well I am blown away by this mouse melon here pretty easy to observe what the new growth is as compared to the old growth but look at that and it's just looking for anything it can find to attach to I got to keep turning it back on itself which it will pretty happily do oh look at this it's found its way to the uh, sugar rush cream down here A little tiny pepper on there seems to have lost that one be nice to see some color but Dungeon gardening. I'm just happy to see them still alive. I will take what I can get, you know? Speaking of, it looks like I have been able to keep this paper lantern alive so far, which is pretty exciting. It was a nice productive little pepper already. Clearly it needs to go over the fish tank as well. I'm not sure if you can see those aphids. Anyway. Clearly I need to take this and flick it over the fish tank, but that has been working out just fine. A few more almost ready to harvest here on the El Oro de Ecuador. Still seems to be transitioning okay. Yeah, too bad about that ahi. I was really excited about the idea of one of those in its second season, but... C'est la vie! Like I said, I will take the odds for what they are, because... I'm, I'm pretty pleased with what's, what's growing on here at the moment. And that about wraps it up for what's growing on here, really, uh, kind of a quicker look around. I am very excited by a couple of things that I found on Amazon, but I'm not quite in a position to order them yet, so I'll tell you about them once I have ordered them. Um, I have done some mushroom core harvesting from that trio back, so that'll probably turn up on the Farm Channel sometime this coming week. And yeah, it's it's just very interesting sort of fall around here that seems an awful lot like winter. So I'm just trying to get as much done as I can in, in the time that I've got. Anywho, speaking of that, I need to get boogalooing and get on my way doing stuff. So thank you all for joining me this week and I look forward to seeing you next time around. Take care, everybody.